Hey friends, this is the Miss of Ophie from our Half Acre Homestead and I got a delivery today. Woohoo! Let's have a look. Okay, so this is a parcel that I ordered in January. And this is from Wiffle Tree Farm and Nursery in Alora, Ontario. And these guys are really lovely. I got my plum trees and grapevines from them last year. And one of the plum trees and one of the grapevines died. So they've sent me a free replacement, which is really awesome. I want to be a little careful here because of I don't want to cut any plants. Okay, so in here it says I have a Damson Plum, which is a replacement. Now the Buffalo Grape, they didn't have. They sent me a Brianna instead, and it's a white grape. And we have two gold caught dwarf apricot trees, one hazelnut tree, Andrew, one hazelnut tree, Aldara. And the reason I got two different hazelnuts is so that they will cross pollinate. I'm still learning all this stuff, folks, but this is what I love, okay? These come, let me get the camera here. What I love about this, and I hope you can see because I can't see my screen here, is that they wrap the roots in wet, shredded, unbleached cardboard and then in plastic. And it keeps them nice and moist. Today is Wednesday. Oh, look at this. Now, what are you? This is my hazelnut and it's already got buds. Yay! And here's something else with buds. It's probably the other hazelnut. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap these back up. And this weekend is the May long weekend here in Canada, which is traditionally the weekend for planting. So it's garden weekend. But we are going to... Uh, I'm going to plant the other grapevine right now because I want to make sure it gets in the ground ASAP. So let's okay, do Okay, so here is my buffalo grapevine that did survive last year when the other one didn't and right here is where we're going to plant the other one because papa's going to be building me one of those vine trellis things but let's get this in the ground because we don't want to risk losing it like we did the other grapevine last year okay so first things first we're just gonna there's our one over there so we want this one right here normal i'm not supposed to dig folks but it's such a small hole that we're not going to worry about it okay i'm going to scrape some of this these are the shavings from the brooder for my silver lace wine dot chicks so i just kind of want to mix this all in here loosen it up want to give this grapevine the best possible start and they've really wrapped this well I'm going to open the rest of it over the hole because they obviously have some things in here. It doesn't look like much, folks, but grapevines are like that. They have a tendency to fool you. The reason they sent me this one, A, it's a white grape, but they also sent it to me because it's an early grape. I'm going to put some, whoops, shoot. Thank goodness I got a lot of water and we're just going to water it and then pack more soil around it. We're only planting the part that was wrapped. Anything above that you may kill it because the bark needs to breathe. And these I'm just going to wrap back up just the roots to keep them moist. But I'm going to leave the box open to let light in. Because it's only going to be a day or two. If they start to dry out, then Papa and I will 
get them planted tonight. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, yay, it's finally planting season. Take care. God bless.